Hey, Kev. What are you doing? Boy, is that scary. The other day I was making a cup with my plasma cutter, and as I was working along that piece of metal, big, long cut, I really had to reach out there to get it done. The cable wound up sliding along that nice fresh cut as I was making it, that nice hot cut right there, and it wound up going through the armor on the cable, all the way down to the power wire down inside this thing. There was a big blue flash and all the hair on my arm stood up. So I knew it was coming. Uh, today it finally broke in two all the way and my plasma cutter quit working. But I had gone ahead and ordered a new one. They sent me this box right here. So now we just gotta hope we got the right parts for it. Uh, if you've never looked inside of one of these, it's kind of scary. Kind of amazing to think that all these electronics give you that flame that comes out of the end of that torch right there that allow you to cut through steel up to one inch thick. You know, we've got a big transformer inside here. Uh, all kinds of good stuff. <laughs> Oh, here. You can see where the air comes in for the for the torch. Show me. Go, well, it comes in here on this end. We got a little filter right here to keep the water out. There's another little filter inside here, a little dryer. Comes up through the pressure regulator over here, and then back down to the torch. Comes out this cable winds up out on the end. So when you pull the trigger, the air comes on and it maybe lets you make your cut. Circuit board with all the electronics. Here's the other side of that big transformer. Little cooling fan to keep things cool inside. Boy, now I get to take it apart. <laughs> I love my job. Okay, so we just did a cableectomy. Now comes the moment of truth. Put my circle cutter back on because I was cutting a circle. And we gotta line it back up in the little hole right there and <laughs> And you see right here, this is what got me in trouble last time. Here the cable hit on the metal. Right here, it gets caught as you're going around the circle, or as you're moving along on the cut. That's what caught me, got me in trouble last time. So now we'll put it up there and keep it out of the way. By the way, Sandy from Ohio emailed one day and said, how come I don't wear glasses when I do this? And there's a very good reason. Because all the flame is down underneath here. It's hidden by this shield. So when I'm standing here using this thing, all I see are a few little sparks coming off of it. This way I can see what I'm doing. I feel, and I'm probably wrong, and I'm sure I'll get some emails on this, I feel safer without dark glasses on so I can see what's going on. I can see around me on the floor to make sure nothing's burning. If I wasn't using this circle cutter, if I was freehand cutting where this tip was exposed, where I could see the flame that came out of that, you know, absolutely, I'd be wearing dark glasses. This is brighter than the sun. But that's the only reason, Sandy, why I don't wear dark glasses when I do this. I'll be back to work. We'll see you later.